Welp, so much for Pooch. So much for having an Italian to root for. You get more than one white guy in a room, and apparently the microaggressions just fly. In a day's worth, the, the, some of the cast just gets problematic, but I guess would it be Big Brother US without it? I also think it's possible that the safety could be going to his head. Pooch is not HOH, but he's acting like the HOH, going around starting to make several alliances. I think uh, maybe we can change his name to Poochie because he could be acting like Frenchie. He's made about three or four alliances all within a span of a couple hours today. He uh, went to the HOH room. Turner came in. Him, Turner, and Daniel, the HOH, tried to make an alliance. Uh, I'll talk more about Turner here in a second. We finally got something out of Turner to talk about. But Pooch then also, of course, has his bro alliance with Monte, possibly adding Kyle to that. But then they also, mostly Pooch, talk to Alyssa and Paloma to uh, make an alliance with them two, as well as possibly Amira. So Pooch today has decided he's going to have a lot of alliances. You know, Michael and Taylor, who came into this game saying they're going to play hardcore, I mean, I get that it's only literally night two, but they are probably two of the more quieter as it, as far as it goes to making alliances, Michael especially. Michael is unfortunately very socially awkward. I guess I did not get that from his videos, but he is. It's not good. His social game is looking extremely awkward here. I don't know if he's going to uh, be okay, especially a lot of people are throwing out his name. Daniel sees him as an easy person to put up as a pawn. There is a twist to come, so maybe that will save Michael from possibly being a pawn that goes home. But Turner also threw his name out to Daniel when Turner, Pooch, and Daniel were making that alliance. Turner also made an alliance with Brittany, they, I guess, are going to be our awkward outcasts of the season to uh, make that alliance with each other. I mean, I have nothing against them so far, so we'll see what, what comes of that. Brittany did tell Turner that uh, to be concerned about the girls, so maybe Brittany already throwing that ridiculous anti-woman girls alliance under the bus. And that, uh, that uh, alliance has gotten even more extreme where Taylor is concerned, like I talked about in the last video. We have Paloma agreeing with Amira that Taylor should not go home this week. It needs to be a guy, so at least they are they still have their head in the game for the most part. However, Paloma brought up some weird shit that she thinks Taylor is a spy for the guys because... She and Amira see that Taylor is spending more time with the girls today. Like, it's, this is crazy to me. This is 24 hours in the house, and they already have come to this these conclusions about Taylor. I get that she's hot. Maybe it's racially motivated. It usually is. She is a black woman on top of this. But I, I find it all very extreme, Paloma and Amira, when it comes to Taylor. It's very awkward it's it's messy but awkward you know i see people online saying well this is drama we want drama is it drama one way things aren't drama we want fights give me fights if they say this shit to taylor's face i'm into it but i think paloma is a pussy and wouldn't do that those were the rest of the day's events today wanted to make one more quick recording today just to say that pooch is problematic unfortunately won't be able to root for him um and he's doing way too much honestly i hope that comes back to uh, bite him in the ass sooner rather than later at this point taylor's gonna have to fight for her life she needs to start making some alliances or she's going to uh be a huge target for everyone because even pooch with those microaggressions were was saying that taylor needs to go sooner rather than later Kyle seemed more like later, but uh, Kyle also joined in on those microaggressions about Taylor and how she's going to explode if she's ever on the block. 
Taylor's been nothing but chill and cool this so far. She's given no indication that she's going to explode and be the angry black woman if she's put on the block. Right now, I think the people in most trouble are, however, the people with the backstage twist. We'll see what twist comes of this. I'm pretty sure that uh, old Grodner and Meehan are rigging this twist. They have no idea what twist they want yet. So we don't know what the twist is because they don't know what the twist is. Also, Michael in trouble as well, as I stated. Very, very socially awkward so far. I hope he gets it together, finds his place in the game. Maybe he should talk to Turner and Brittany who want to form this awkward outcast alliance, even though Turner then threw Michael under the bus, who's also an awkward outcast.